1983 to 1995, an unrivaled collection of public art was installed in Lowell, Massachusetts. While representing Massachusetts in the United States Senate, Paul Songus noticed how much his family enjoyed the statues and public works of art in Washington. Hoping to give kids in Lowell a like experience, Songus became the driving force behind Lowell's sculptures, the first of which was a work called Homage to Women by Miko Kaufman. Homage to Women is located in the Market Mills Park adjacent to the National Park Visitor Center on Market Street. The statue was popular from the moment of its unveiling, becoming the sim sy symbol of the city's sesquicentennial celebration in 1986. In 1985, the Lowell Heritage State Park opened in the Mack Building on Shattuck Street. The designers of the exhibits inside the building extended their work to the adjacent plaza. The Worker is a life-sized bronze sculpture of an Irish canal digger, one of hundreds of 19th century laborers who dug Lowell's 5.6 miles of canals by hand. The Worker was created by Ivan and Elliot Schwartz and stands on Mack Plaza at the corner of Market and Shattuck Street. The construction of the Lowell Hilton Hotel in the city's Lower Locks parking garage, next to the confluence of the Pawtucket Canal and the Concord River, formed the background of Lowell's next piece of public art. Designed by Michio Ihara and unveiled in 1987, Pawtucket Prism was an intricate collection of copper-colored cubes that would rotate with the wind and the water falling from the work's steel superstructure. Anyone who's witnessed this sculpture operating as intended with the strobe-like flashes of reflected sunlight forming hundreds of miniature rainbows in the mist caused by the dozens of water jets striking the spinning cubes will attest to the magnificence of this work of art. Unfortunately, a lack of maintenance has kept the water from flowing for years and the structure itself has assumed a somewhat worn appearance. When the buildings that were constructed over the Pawtucket Canal on both sides of Central Street were torn down at the urging of the National Park to unmask the industrial canyon formed by the canal as it flowed between the brick mill buildings, the cement pilings that remained were the perfect setting for the city's next piece of public art. Designed by Carlos Dorian and unveiled in 1988, Human construction consists of massive pieces of granite assembled in a series of post and lintel joints. In a design competition centered on the theme of the people of Lowell, Dorian won unanimous support for his design when he explained his vision that the people of Lowell build. They build mills, houses, neighborhoods, a community and his use of simple materials joined in an age-old construction technique symbolized this. The flurry of construction projects that occurred in the late 1980s cleared the way for another important piece of public art. The transformation of the Massachusetts mills from an abandoned textile factory to a major apartment complex led to the demolition of the mammoth Curran Morton warehouse that stood on Bridge Street at the foot of Father Morissette Boulevard, leaving what is officially known as Eastern Canal Park, but popularly referred to as Kerouac Park. The Kerouac Commemorative is a text-based sculpture consisting of eight highly polished vertical slabs of granite inscribed with excerpts from ten of Kerouac's books, including five novels set in Lowell, that help document the city's cultural heritage. The footpaths through the site form both a circle and a cross which represent Kerouac's experiences with Buddhism and Christianity. The granite sides facing outward have no text but are intended to be both a literal and a figurative reflection of the city. In the 20 years since its creation, this monument has become central to the city's annual Lowell Celebrates Kerouac Festival. Although much of the funding of these sculptures came from the Lowell Historic Preservation Commission, a significant amount came from private donations, most of which were solicited by Paul Songus. In 1989, however, Songus and his wife Nikki decided to finance a piece of art themselves as a way of honoring their parents. The result was Agapetomy, which overlooks the Pawtucket Canal 
to the rear of Middlesex Community College. Created by Dimitri Hadzi in 1989, Agapetomy means love and honor. The three bronze figures in this sculpture resemble parents with the child, although some think the child resembles a baby elephant, which was also noted by the staunch Democrat Songus. The popular Boarding House Park outdoor performance stage is the location of the next public artwork. Known as Lowell Sculptures No. 1, No. 2, and No. 3, these interrelated sculptures are placed at three corners of the park. After extensively researching Lowell's history, artist Robert Cummings, who was known more for his watercolors than his statuary, chose a beehive shape designed partly to symbolize the intense activity in Lowell, but also because for a time Lowell itself used the beehive to represent the city during the 19th century. The main piece of this installation also features a silhouette of Francis Cabot Lowell and a set of stairs that are based on the stairs adjacent to the lock chamber at the Francis Gate. The final piece of public art is Industry Not Servitude by Ellen Rothenberg. This unique multi-piece sculpture sits on Lucy Larkham Park. The long narrow shape of the park presented a challenge to the artist who met it by drawing on her interest in cemeteries to design this sculpture. Much of the text is from the writing of Sarah Bagley, an activist in the women's labor movement of the mid-19th century. The centerpiece of the design is a large clock with the text of a petition signed by 2,000 women from Lowell seeking the abolition of the 14-hour workday inscribed on the clock's circumference. And thus ends our tour of public artworks in downtown Lowell. As you can see, the city is home to an impressive collection of public art. Thank you to all those who came.